library is well equipped. I'm happy because of the computer lab, which is well equipped. And but there are so many things that we are doing in nursing that go in line with technology at the moment. The students are molded holistically. They attend masses every morning and get involved in groups that nourish them spiritually, like YCS and CU clubs. We have appointed one of our fathers as a chaplain of the school, who is always there for them. If they have a, a need, they have difficulties, if the office is open, they go to him. He does counseling uh, and mostly listening to them. In addition, the trainees engage in sporting activities, making them fit both physically and psychologically. They play football, they play volleyball, netball and others they participate. The alumni of this great institution now serve in different capacities as nurses in major hospitals and the health sector at large, both in the country and abroad. Choose Nursing, choose St. Camilla's School of Nursing for quality and reliable training. I would like to appeal and encourage those who have got uh, boys and girls who have met the required entry uh, qualifications to apply to St. Camilla School of Nursing Tabaka Mission Hospital for the training to become nurses. For booking and inquiries, call us on 0705-832-406 or Tabaka Mission Hospital on 0721 three six one nine five three email us on tabaka at swift kenya dot com st camilla's school of nursing in tabaka kc is an institution of choice in the nursing field wa christu wa jimbo katoliki la nakuru Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Milele Amina. Weekend hii tunasongeza injili mbele pamoja nanyi. Jumamosi hii tarehe 3 Julai tutaungana na shirika la dada wadogo wa Mtakatifu Francisco Little Sisters of St Francis katika maadhimisho ya jubilei ya dhahabu ya nyumba yao ya malezi eneo la bahati. Ibada ya misa itaanza saa 4 asubuhi kiongozo na mhashamu askofu Maurice Muhati ya Makumba wa Jimbo la Nakuru Ibada hii itakufikia moja kwa moja hapa Kapuchin TV na kwenye mitandao ya kijamii Nayo Jumapili hii ya 14 kipindi cha kawaida tutainjilisha pamoja na waumini wa katedrali ya Yesu Kristu Mfalme Nakuru mjini Misa ya kwanza saa moja kasorobo asubuhi Misa ya pili saa mbili na robo asubuhi misa ya tatu saa tano na nusu asubuhi kutoka parokia ya kibiko Jimbo Langong hadi katedrali ya Jimbo la Nakuru injili inasonga mbele endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki medical appeal The organizing committee and scholar Wanjiku's family wish to invite you to a fundraising towards settling the pending hospital bill and facilitation of the ongoing bone marrow transplant treatment of Mark Wamote, a 12-year-old, a pupil in Kalimoni Primary School and an altar boy in St. Teresa Catholic Church, Juja. The total amount was 6 million shillings and so far 3.5 million shillings has been raised and paid. We need your help in raising the balance of 2.5 million shillings. The fundraising will be on 10th July 2021 at Maria Police Center on Kenyatta Road from 1 p.m. You may channel your donation on M-Pesa Pay Bill number 8014779, account name Mark Wamote, or M-Pesa number 0724919212. Callers on 
0242-632-632. Any donation will be appreciated. Makwamote, get well soon. Kipaimara Ni sakramenti yenye kumpa mkristu roho mtakatifu na ukamilifu wa mapaji yake saba Kumfanya mkristu mkamilifu na kumfanya shahidi hodari wa Yesu Kristu mpaka kufa Kupata kipaimara kama sikiza tuni yako Tuma neno sikiza likifuato na nambari 738-102-772 kwa nane moja moja. My dear brothers and sisters, we are on the first day of the month of July, and so we want to thank the good Lord for his goodness, for his protection in the month that we have just completed. We are actually halfway in the year 2021, and the Lord continues to be good despite the challenges, despite the difficulties we are going through the pandemic and many other challenges, the Lord is still uh, on our side. And so we want to thank him for our families, for our communities, for our country, and for all uh, the world. May he continue to intervene in the course of our history. As we begin our celebration this morning, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most gracious faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, Grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of Genesis. 
In those days, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Here I am. He said, Take your son, your only begotten son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering upon one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering, and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place far off. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went both of them together. And Isaac said to his father Abraham, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. He said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So they went both of them together. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Then Abraham put forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. He said, Do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him, for now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only begotten son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram, caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram, and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the name of that place the Lord will provide, and it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, by myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only begotten son, I will indeed bless you, and I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies and by your descendants." shall all nations of the earth bless themselves because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young men, and they arose and went together to Beersheba, and Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord, for he has heard the voice, my voice, my appeal, for he has turned his ear to me whenever I have called. They surrounded me, the snares of death. The anguish of the grave has found me. Anguish and sorrow I found. 
I called on the name of the Lord. Deliver my soul, O Lord. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple. I was brought law and he saved me. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. reconciling the world to himself and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. The Lord is with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, getting into a boat, Jesus crossed over and came to his own city. And behold, they brought to him a paralytic lying on his bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. And behold, some of the scribes say to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier? To say your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralytic, Rise, take up your bed, and go home. And he rose and went home. When the crowd saw it, they were afraid, and they glorified God who had given such authority to men. For our salvation, gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, uh, the readings of today indeed teach us that obedience to the will of God is the key to success. The story of Abraham and his son Isaac, it reveals to us something that we need to learn about our obedience to the will of God. Are we willing to obey God, even if it means making very hard decisions? Isaac was the only son of Abraham and Sarah. And we remember the circumstances under which he was born. Abraham and Sarah were at the age nobody would think of having children. But we saw how Abraham's trust and faithfulness to God made it possible for them to get this son, Isaac. So who can then accept to give away such a son? It's not easy. It requires sacrifice and surrender to the will of God. 
And this is exactly what Abraham did. So when he was told to take his son and offer him as a sacrifice, the whole thing was so painful, but he did as the Lord wanted. This is what it means to take difficult circumstances, decisions, but in obedience to the will of God. So he did that, he did what the Lord wanted, but we see in the process that the Lord would never have allowed Isaac to be harmed. The Lord had a great plan for him. So what Abraham lets us learn is that faith as a gift to us from God is also nurtured in us and there is a way God lets that faith to be strengthened, to be made strong in us so that we can love him even more. Abraham, our father of faith, lets us learn that it's not always easy to walk the way of faith. It may be hard and painful at times, but that is a way God lets that faith be strengthened in us. So sometimes we may go through difficult situations, but if we remain steadfast, the faith we share, the faith that the Lord has called us to, is strengthened in us. And the gospel is a manifestation of the fruits of that faith. When we strongly believe, faith moves us and lifts us from our weaknesses to become stronger in the Lord. And the Lord makes us to, forgive, to receive that forgiveness we, that we need. In other words, we are seeing that uh, our weaknesses are as a result of sin and lack of faith and trust in the Lord. But when we are steadfast and the Lord, uh, we, we, we are open to the Lord, the Lord lets us be forgiven and we are lifted up once again. And so we hear Jesus speaking to us to the depths of our heart, son, daughter, get up and walk. And so like Abraham, he let, uh, we, we, we are invited to root, to be rooted in the Lord. So that like the paralytic, we may believe and no matter how difficult, how pathetic our situations may be, the Lord will always lift us up and let's, let us walk again with him. May we continue to be strengthened in the Lord. May we continue to believe that the Lord is the master, is uh, the origin of our life and our strength. And so I want to pray this day for all those who are going through difficulties, families that are struggling, communities that are struggling, that the Lord may bring healing, may bring forgiveness of their sins, and let them walk once again. And all of us, in our different weaknesses, may the Lord heal us and speak that word to us, wake up and walk.
say, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. O oh God, who glory, graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which you serve, we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord is with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we proclaim your glory as with one voice we acclaim. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop David Kamau, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mass on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamp of God. Have mercy. Behold Jesus, the Lamp of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The body of Christ, 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 the body of Christ. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, 
so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And may you have a blessed day. Kapuchin TV, Kitambulisho Katoliki Medical Appeal The organizing committee and scholar Wanjiku's family wish to invite you to a fundraising towards settling the pending hospital bill and facilitation of the ongoing bone marrow transplant treatment of Mark Wamote, a 12-year-old, a pupil in Kalimoni Primary School and an altar boy in St. Teresa Catholic Church, Juja. The total amount was 6 million shillings and so far, 3.5 million shillings has been raised and paid. We need your help in raising the balance of 2.5 million shillings. The fundraising will be on 10th July 2021 at Maria Polis Center on Kenyatta Road from 1 p.m. You may channel your donation on M-Pesa pay bill number 8014779, account name Mark Wamote, or M-Pesa number 0724-919-212 or call us on 0715-877-632. Any donation will be appreciated. Mark Wamote, get well soon. Wakristu wa Jimbo Katoliki la Nakuru, Tumsifu Yesu Kristu, Milele Amina. Weekend hii tunasongeza injili mbele pamoja nanyi. Jumamosi hii tarehe 3 Julai tutaungana na shirika la dada wadogo wa Mtakatifu Francisco Little Sisters of St Francis katika maadhimisho ya jubilei ya dhahabu ya nyumba yao ya malezi eneo la bahati. Ibada ya misa itaanza saa asubuhi ikiongozwa na mhashamu askofu Maurice Muhati ya Makumba wa Jimbo la Nakuru. Ibada hii itakufikia moja kwa moja hapa Kapuchin TV na kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Nayo Jumapili hii ya 14 kipindi cha kawaida tutainjilisha pamoja na waumini wa katedrali ya Yesu Kristu Mfalme na Kuru mjini. Misa ya kwanza saa moja kasorobo asubuhi. Misa ya pili saa mbili na robo asubuhi. Misa ya tatu saa tano na nusu asubuhi kutoka parokia ya kibiko Jimbo Langong hadi katedrali ya Jimbo la Nakuru injili inasonga mbele endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Kapuchin TV a Catholic Broadcasting Ministry Misa takatifu ya kila siku ni kama ifuatavyo 
saa moja kamili asubuhi, saa saba unusu mchana, saa kumi na mbili jioni na saa mbili unusu usiku. God for the, the mass is ended. Mpenzi mtazamaji, tunakuenzi na kukudhamini. Endelea kutazama Capuchin TV. Online Publications Africa invites you to a launch of the book Church and State Relations, a Manual for Africa. It is a religious book written by Father Jordan Nyenyembe, Senior Lecturer of Pastoral Theology at Catholic University of Eastern Africa. This Manual for Africa guides people to understand that both the church and state originated from God. As a result, the church has an interest in politics to ensure that human beings are custodians of the common good. Therefore, church and state are both at the service of the same person who happens to be a citizen and a Christian. A good relationship between church and state is crucial, and that politics is decisive in the life of the citizens, and it should not be left out to politicians alone. The book encourages closer cooperation between the two institutions by debunking some popular myths and misconceptions. This book will be launched right here on Capuchin TV on 1st July 2021 at 11 a.m. Do not miss out on this amazing opportunity to nourish your faith. Find this book in the following bookshops, Catholic Bookshop, in Holy Family Basilica, Pauline's Communication Center in Ring Road, Westlands, Gabriella House near Jequat Langata Campus, and also you can buy the book online in the website www.paulinesafrica.org. Capuchin TV, your Catholic Broadcasting Ministry. Coronavirus COVID-19 is a respiratory virus spreading across the world. The infection is spread from droplets of coughing and sneezing of an infected person, touching or shaking hands or being in contact with contaminated surfaces or objects with the virus. The signs and symptoms are fever, coughing, headache, body ache, difficulty in breathing. The disease can be prevented by regularly washing hands with soap and running water. Avoid close contact with people who have flu-like symptoms. Avoid handshake, hugs, and kissing. Also, protect yourself by covering your mouth or nose using a disposable tissue while coughing or sneezing. If you experience these symptoms and you had traveled or been in contact with a person from a country reporting COVID-19, you should isolate yourself for 14 days and seek immediate medical attention or report to the nearest health center. This message has been brought to you by the government of Kenya and its partners. For accurate information on COVID-19, dial star 719 hash or call 719. Follow us on Twitter at MOH underscore Kenya at spokesperson GOK at WHO. Are you in need of a competitive, personal, business or institutional insurance cover? Look no further. Purchase Insurance has got you covered for both individual and group contingencies. I am a happy client of Purchase Insurance Company for over a period of seven years. Purchase Insurance offered us a lasting solution to our medical issues and medical problems. With Purchase Insurance, you do not need to search elsewhere. We have competitively comprehensive insurance products that meet every personal, business and institutional needs. We have plans that address the corporate organizations and groups targeting the religious groups and other registered groups. We also have plans for the retail market which covers families or individuals. Uh, for general covers we have classified them into two different lines. We have the personal lines and the corporate lines. We are uh, uh, owned by the Catholic Church, 100%, uh, 
And uh, this brings the uniqueness in us in that any profits, any proceedings we make through the operations we run as a company are plowed back to the church to help with the different projects the church has. I would recommend parties to any other person who is looking for these services. We have uh, direct lines we call, people who are available for us 24-7. And so it doesn't matter the time, the day, the hour we are, we are met, or rather our expectations are met. Visit our head office at Pachi Center located along Wayakue in Westlands for details about our products or contact us on 0730-677-000 or 0720-113-122. Send us an email on info at patchyskenya.com. Our health, our wealth, and our reputation are protected, and we have a lot of peace and comfort to know that we are covered wherever we are. Patches is a Latin word that stands for peace. For comfort and peace in life. Choose Patches Insurance Company. We protect your health, wealth, and reputation for comfort and peace to society. Beatitude Girls High School located in Maragua, Muranga County, is a private secondary school that provides quality, holistic education to students. This institution of learning has gradually proved to be a hub of academic excellence for girls. The expectations are that uh, the girls who will go through the, uh, the formation here will come out here with the qualities of the kingdom of God. The school is fully owned by the Catholic Diocese of Muranga, but run and managed by the Incarnate Word Sisters. To bring up these young girls, to educate them, to mentor them. The school has earned repeat and recognition for outstanding performance in different academic fields. We are three kilometers from the main road. This creates a conducive environment for the girls and our vision also is to expand so that the, the, the school can grow and accommodate more of our girls. Students receive an all-round learning experience including co-curricular activities to develop their skills and talents. In a bid to accommodate girls from humble backgrounds, we offer favorable terms of payment that are affordable to all. For more information about intakes and entry requirements, contact us on 0706735006 or 0720724337. Send an email to cdmbeatitudesgirls2016 at gmail.com. Beatitude Girls High School! Yay! Welcome to Beatitude Girls High School Muranga. We learn to love as we love to learn. Is this life reserved for only this matter, the fastest? and the fittest? Not really. At Mapson's Educational and Counseling Institute, everybody is a winner. All you need is your creative ability. Choose your skill set from our wide range of highly marketable courses, which include plumbing, welding, leatherwork, and detergent making. We also offer training in hospitality, dressmaking, and catering. This is a Christian-based organization. I am a staunch Catholic. That is not to say that I will not accommodate people of other faiths. I welcome anybody who wants to learn as long as they respect my Christian faith. We have adult support groups which provide life skills training and counseling to the divorcees, widowed, and single parents. Visit our offices located at Ruiru Town, next to Ruiru Nazareth Hospital and secure admission in the ongoing intake. Whether you are poor or rich, 
the doors to Mapsons are welcome to anybody who cares to come in. For details, write to the director, Mapsons Educational and Counseling Institute, P.O. Box 3837, Code 00506, Nairobi, or call us on 0722363. 868 or 07 39 security here is high class right behind here there is a police post in the premises next door they are only a call away then i have the cctv and with the internet i'm able to monitor what is going on in my compound 24 hours. Welcome to Mapsons Educational and Counseling Institute. Mapsons, we transform problems into great opportunities. Diligence rewards. This is what we believe at Mount Lavena Girls Boarding School, located along Kasarani Mweki Road. I'm Sister Rebecca Maina, the principal of this school. It was started in 2005. It is run and managed by Retro Sisters of St. Francis. Quality education and spiritual formation is at the center of the school's value, which is aimed at producing holistic citizens. The school is fully boarding uh, and accommodates girls. Our vision is to be a Christian school of academic excellence. It has been a center of excellence since the first day I met uh, this community. While our mission is to empower students with holistic education by nurturing Christian values that will enable them excel in the society. The school mean score for 2020 was 7.1. It has been doing well academically. Our core values include produce safe and conducive learning environments. Mount Lavena Girls is situated in a serene and conducive place where students learn without much distraction of noise. So we expect that the candidates who choose Mount Lavena as their school of choice will enjoy learning in our school. Provide quality education. We have sufficient classes. We have sufficient boarding facilities. We have a laboratory for science practicals. We have computer for students interested in computer uh, or IT. Nurture Christian values. Uh, we have mass twice a week. That is on Wednesday morning and Saturday afternoon. And uh, this is to support students uh, spiritually. Provide positive environmental and health practices. Promote international and cross-cultural consciousness. We also offer foreign language that is French. So all students who are interested in this are welcome to our school. For more information, visit Mount Lavena Girls Boarding School along Kasarani Mweki Road or contact us on 0722-544-951 email us on mountlavenagirls at gmail.com or visit our website www.mountlavenaschool.ac.ke Mount Lavena Girls Boarding School. Diligence Rewards.